Yo, what's good, YouTube? We got another banger today. Last time we had a simp, this time we got a pimp, man. Y'all already know what it is. Simp or pimp number two. So listen, today's video is going to teach you the most. Quote me on that. On God. On the dead looks. Quote me on that. This video is going to teach you the most. Because I feel like a lot of guys don't know what it what it means or what it looks like when a pimping is in that. Bro, what the? I got a notification from some random shit. I go, hey, I'm. But uh, I don't think a lot of guys know what it means to have a pimp in action or a player in action or what it looks like to actually be smooth and seductive and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of guys don't think you could be funny while you spent in game. Like, this guy right here, yeah, it should be like right here. This guy right here, bro, he gonna show y'all all what that means. And I'm gonna just break it down for the simps that don't really get it. Or if you're not a simp and you don't get it, I'm gonna still explain it. Doesn't even matter, you know what I'm saying? You already know what we're doing, slime slut your D. So, uh, you see my guy back there, bro? He used to be a simp. But now he's been watching Taekwondo, and he already know what time it is. Simple pimp number two, man. Let's get right to it. This. Yes. Yes. You came through. How are you, darling? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> big, big pop. What's your name? Shantae. Shantae. She's very pretty. Yeah. You've got green eyes. Are they real? Thank you, yeah. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. You know my mom would be so proud if I brought you home. Why? Because you're, you're beautiful, stunning. She wants to have beautiful grandkids. Thank you. And I want to make sure that that can happen for her. She's mine, she's mine. Um, this process is, this is the beginning of our... I love you. Finesse, okay. hold, hold up. Right. Hold up, finesse right there. She wants to have... Finesse you know my mom would be one. so proud if I brought you home. Why? Because you My mom would be so proud if I brought you home. You're, you're beautiful, stunning. She wants to have beautiful grandkids. My mom wants beautiful grandkids. Bro, that is a finesse right there. A seductive... Flirty finesse, cause it says uh, multiple things in one sentence. One, I'm trying to s hawk smash them cheeks. Number one. Number two, it's a compliment. You know, all you guys just come out and be like, "Oh, you're so beautiful." My, my nigga, thirty other simps DM'd her. She's beautiful today. You gonna be the thirty-first one, or you gonna get creative? This is a creative way to do it. Simple pimp, baby. You already know what time it is. We want to be smooth. We want to be player. We want to, you know what I'm saying? We want to do it the right way. We want to come correct or we don't want to come at all. You know what I'm saying? And this is a great example right here. Thank you. And I want to make sure that that can happen right. for her. Oh, She's mine. She's mine. This process is, this is the beginning of our... I love her. Yeah, it's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. Yeah, butterfly. Yeah, another one. Oh, is it? Y'all touching that I give people butterflies. We'll see. Look, bam. Bro, line after line, bar after bar. This nigga don't miss. This nigga ain't miss yet, bro. You ain't got the answer, Sway. But let me let me break this down real quick, bro. So basically, the butterflies. Yeah, look, he talking about her tat. She had a tat. She had a little butterfly tat on her little stomach area. Don't look at my stomach. Then she had like a butterfly um, ne necklace. This is a finesse right here, bro. During the conversation, you don't want to be like, you don't want to come off as sexual or too pressed because that should have turned a girl off and make her uncomfortable. The way you finesse it is you take the normal part of the conversation and you just do it in a slick way. So she's showing her like, he, he like, I mean, he's showing, she's showing him that he likes butterflies. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> she's showing him that she likes butterflies, right? And what he's doing is... I give people butterflies. I give people butterflies. Straight I face. See. We'll say. Straight face. You, the straight face is important because if you just laughing, you smiling at everything, you can't switch into sexy mode off that. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, just picture yourself in a bedroom with a girl, right? If you gotta say something to her, like, yo, like, take your clothes off, or let's get into it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all about, about to do something you mean, y'all about to, you know what I mean? How can you say that? You're not gonna say that in some hillbilly, <laughs> you're not gonna say that in that same demeanor. You're gonna say it in a demeanor like this, straight face, low, cool, calm, and collected. That's why it's important to stay cool, calm, and collected, because... With that kind of energy, it could go each way. Go each way. So, um, where are you from? Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's it like in Birmingham? Dead. Alright. There's, really there's not really much to do. You want to come and move to London then? 
Another Raven. one, bro. I've got a room there for you. I've got a mansion, baby. Ready for you to lay in, and we can build something here. Bro, bar for bar, this nigga don't miss, bro. This nigga don't miss. Bro, another example. That's another example of finesse right there, bro. It's not like he's all pressing her, pressing her, pressing her, and just being all sexual and flirty, where it's like it's turning her off and making her uncomfortable. The way he is finessing, us, us, hezzy, crossover, you know what I'm saying? The way he's finessing is he's doing it off of the normal conversation, bro. She just said she's bored in Birmingham. So all he did, all he said was, I'm going to take you to London, we're going to have some fun. And then he expanded on that. I was like, yeah, I got a room for you, da 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 third. This works because guys think that, you know, you want to be sexual and flirty and seductive by just being straightforward. That shit is cringe, bro. That shit only works in movies. It only works in movies for the guy to be like, yeah, so, baby, I'm going to take you right down this. Bro, if it sounds cringe, it's, it's probably cringe. Let's, let's just be real. It's probably cringe if it sounds cringe. But, um... Yeah, this is how you finesse in real life, because this is how my game is. Like, I like to have a sense of humor, bro. I'm not some, I'm not a fucking brick wall. I'm not boring. I'm not some corny ass nigga, bro. Like, I got a sense of humor. So I use that a lot in my game. Like, I, I'm saying, I like wordplay. I like shit like that, where it's like, she told me something like that. I take it and I finesse it off of that. I'm not creating sexual energy where it's not there. But I'm finessing. I'm using what I'm giving. <laughs> I think everyone's beautiful, man. I'm just here for a good time. I don't want sex on the first date. I just, I just want to get to know everyone personally. Hey, everyone personally. Get Friends to first. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to build some good relationships. Uh, I just want to no know. Yeah. You know, if this I was going to have to be with you, I'd shit. Yo. Shit, my yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir, brother. <laughs> yeah. Legs. This is With no gloves. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, you guess what? I'm coming back. Baby killing machine. Yeah. I knew that there was something about you. She a W! Soft hands. <laughs> bro, this bitch is such a W, bro. She's such a W. Listen, bro. Y'all might not understand how he just, like, told her he would just... Basically, what this man just said, bro. I will bust my entire generation in you. I will bust next school, the next year's school bus in you. That's what he just said. He just said that in the most slickest way possible, bro. That's why I don't believe a lot of you dudes are simps at heart, bro. I just think y'all delivery are ter y'all delivery is terrible, bro. Y'all can't make an open layup to save y'all life. Y'all can't make a foul shot of three, none of that. Y'all be getting a rock. Y'all be y'all be having a ball, but y'all can't make a shot. That's how you make a shot. You know what I mean? Like, this is this is how you finesse it. That was the most inappropriate joke I've ever heard in my life. My nigga said he'll shoot up the club with no gloves. Who wear gloves to shoot? Not in that sense, bro. But, like, if, if I'm shooting up... Whatever, bro. Anyway. Bro. But you know how he finessed this, though. It's it's all in his demeanor. It's it's his straight face. Keep games. Emphasize. Oh. Uh like she he's seeing a joke. Yeah. This is letting her know he's. This is letting her know that he's cool. He's like a chill guy, and he has a sense of humor. But he's like he's on. He's letting. He's also letting her know that he's on on sexual type time. And this is important when establishing a relationship with a girl because this is how a lot of dudes get friends on. Y'all come off too friendly. Like bro, she don't want to know. She don't care about your birthday, bro. She don't care. That you play whatever sport, bro. Unless she's a she's a straight Tatiana. She don't care about your birthday. She don't care that you 6'2. She don't care if you bench 200, bro. She bro, she don't care what Netflix show you just got done binge watching, bro. She don't care. She care about the energy she getting from you. What she thinks about when she thinks about you, bro. And when she gonna think about this dude. And now this could be staged or could not be staged. When she gonna think about this dude, she gonna think about, oh, he was cool, he was funny, and he was like saying shit that turned me on. That's what's important right here. It don't, it don't even matter that he just said that inappropriate ass joke, 
but it's important because it's letting her know. With right? no gloves. We on oh, it. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. So I'm, guess what? I'm we on it. Baby killing machine. Yep. It's the type time. I knew that there, there was case. something about you. Ooh, <laughs> soft hands. Thank I you. I feel like these hands could rub my neck when I'm when I'm ill. We'll see. Can you just try and just see how it works and see. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Almost fell asleep there. <laughs> I, I love your smile. Yeah, I feel like my job is to make you smile all the time. So it's like, working. You're doing a good job so Am far. I? Yeah, you're doing a good job. <laughs> Am I? Yeah. So have you got any other tattoos and piercings? Uh, I have a little... Voice. I don't show me your t <laughs> Yeah, it's too soon, man. <laughs> Bam. Bro, this nigga don't miss, bro. Can this nigga miss? This nigga don't miss, bro. Another finesse right there. Bro. The whole date he been flirting with her, throwing a little subliminal, you know what I'm saying, seductive sexual stuff. But just right there, just right there, that's an important teaser. He been doing the flirting the whole time and she like trying to show him a tech that's like a little close to her, you mean? And he like, oh, not yet. Keyword, yet. And another thing, this is important because it makes the girl more comfortable because she's like, okay, like, yeah, he's funny, like, okay, like. Showing her that you fell back a little bit and you just playing around with it. Showing her that you got some kind of self-control. It's like creepy if a guy is too sexual. That shit is like a turn off. So on one end, you got to do it so that you let her know what type of time you on. But another end, you don't want to do it too much or that, that'll really turn a girl off. So Balance, my nigga. Show me your yeah. Anyone. See how we patterns up here? The line up. Too many. So have you got a high pain threshold? Yeah. I did all these myself. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, this nigga don't miss, bro. This nigga don't miss. This nigga don't miss. Bro, and this is how you talk about sexual things without actually talking about sexual things. That's the finesse right there. So you got a high pain threshold. And we don't talk like that in America, you know what I'm saying? Especially not in Philly, not where I'm from. The way we the way we would have said that shit was like, oh, alright. Like, I, I remember saying something to the chick like this, like, a couple weeks ago, bro. And she was, like, saying, like, the same thing. Like, she got her tattoo, like, on her wrist. Alright, you know, that's a soft, like, area. So I was like, damn. So, you like pain or something? And she's like, yeah. And I was like. But off of that, I was like, bet. See, he did a little hand gesture shit. Because he, he doing it towards them. They ain't like the back. I think they could see each other. But, um. I wouldn't have did that. I would have just been like, all right, bet. That's what I said to the John when I was with I was like, oh, for real. Saying something like that where it's like, it's a statement that's not in the sexual context. But come on, we grown. We we grown, y'all. We know what that mean. That's how you want to finesse it. You don't want to just keep pressing her buttons and, all right, so how do I be seductive? How do I do this? How do I do that? You just find a way. You just use the opportunities during the conversation. I did the oh, you done it all yourself? Yeah, just like a needle off Amazon. I was just like, wow. Demon. So you can read. So you like when people like grab your hair. Demon. She's dating it. She's taking a ship as well. She has a fight. You know, you are. They said she was 20, bro. Put me in front of her. Bro, <laughs> on God, I would beg her. Yes, yeah, so bro. <laughs> pretty much. Like on my life. Like I said, my mom's going to be very girl. proud to meet you. So when this is done, I'm going to text her and say I've made it. Okay, let her know. So do I put in my bio? Boom. Besides that simple line, you about to go for it. This is how you could ask for, uh, this is how you could check if a girl like you in a subtle way. You never want to ask her, do you like me? Do you fuck with me? That's too direct and that shit comes off as like thirsty. You never want to be thirsty, my nigga. She's not a water glass. Bro, you want to do it in a subtle way where it's like you're not coming off as desperate. So the way he just finessed it, he was like, all right, I'm going to text my mom and tell her I made it. And she was like, I forgot what the fuck. The very proud to meet you. So She'll be very proud to meet you. I've made it. Okay. She said, okay. So you don't need to say, yes, I like you. And you're just my favorite date. You don't need all that, bro. You don't need to hear all that shit to beat the cheeks or to be in a relationship with her, bro. I don't know why we like hearing stuff so much, bro. Like just actions. Her actions will tell us she likes you more than her words. Her words might clarify it. But you could tell based off her actions. You don't ever want to word it in a way that it comes off as desperate or needed. That's a turn off. Let her know. So do I put in my bio, taken? See, he's stressing me out. You're the best. Thank you. W. W date, guys. I mean, it's nothing left to say, bro. It's just like, that's, that's, just, that's a pimp right there, bro. 
I wonder if in the future, like, if I keep doing more of these, bro, I'm going to put myself on a date. Or I'm going to call a girl on the phone in the video and show y'all how it's done. Like, it's no script. It's no, what do you say during this? The general overall consensus, bro, is that you finesse with what you're given. Take the conversation and use it. Just be creative with it, bro. She hears 30 simps in her DMs all day. Oh, my God, you're beautiful. Oh, my God, this, that, the third. She don't need to hear you say that shit again, bro.